Good day, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Beer Review. Today you have the Rhino. We're drinking a beer that was sent to us by Jordan. Thank you very much, Jordan, for sending me this beer. Um, and by thank you, I kind of mean fuck you. Uh, anyway, uh, yeah. <sighs> Today, we are drinking this. Lucky Extra. Lucky Extra was 6% was alcohol. Uh, now, Lucky Lager you can get here in Ontario. Uh, I've never heard of Lucky Extra until now. Uh, Lucky Lager... You're looking at 5% alcohol and basically a corn chip. Or is it 4.9? Is it 4.9 or 5? I don't remember now. I was just trying to look over here to see if it says which big guy it is. Because they're owned by one of the big ones. I just can't remember off the top of my head which. Labatt. See, and Labatt was who I thought it was. I just didn't want to say Labatt if it was actually Molson Coors because then I'd get all this. You're a fucking idiot. You know what? I really don't do much research going into a beer. And it's. Sometimes I do when I'm curious. But usually I don't because I'll find out things about the beer I don't want to know. Um, now, this beer is a bunch of beer from BC. It's 6% alcohol. It was a, it, uh, I think it calls for this. I think it calls for this. Now this is the snake bite. The snake bite opener. So it is a bottle opener and a can opener and it punctures two snake holes, snake teeth holes in the can. Uh, basically it's used for uh, tailgating and uh, I, I've seen people use it for shotgunning and stuff too. And I thought, you know what? This is just the type of beer that calls for the snake bite. One second. I forgot I have to make two sets of holes to, uh, there we go. Get myself some air to come in. Pour so much better when there's a differential. There we go. And I'll show you the snake bite in a second because this head probably, oh, this head might actually last. <laughs> Crystal clear. Gold, gold, gold. Big, big white head. Oh. And there's my snake bites. I actually think it's a cool little opener. I really do. Uh, at least for what it is. Uh, thank you very much to the Snake Bite Company for sending that to me. A fun little thing to play with. Anyway, beer. Smell. I actually just posted a review today because he decided to send me a bunch of his crappy Alberta beers, which is great because I, I've been joking about people sending me crappy beers because I've been having all good beers lately that I needed to be reminded of why I like good beers. And this, he sent me this and he sent me ice, uh, Tundra Ice, and I reviewed Tundra Ice and I'm like, you know what, this isn't bad, I'll give it a 5 out of 10, I can drink it, there's nothing wrong with it, and he's like, it's one of the worst beers I've ever had. I responded with, remember, I've done over 3,300 plus re reviews now. It takes a lot to uh, turn me off. That smell turned me off. It turned me off big time. Now, you can't get a good whiff of the can when you use the snake bite, which might be a good thing. Yeah, it's a good thing. It literally, and I know people get angry when I use these uh, these descriptors, but it literally reminds me of dog shit. Um, not, you know, like, dog shit, dog Well, yeah, dog shit, dog shit, but, like, when you come into your house after you've been gone for 
12 hours and you haven't been able to get home or get somebody to check on your dogs or anything and you come in and you walk in the front door and somewhere in the house a dog is shit. It's not like you're getting the full blown I just stepped in dog shit scent but you get, the, get that whiff. That whiff that somewhere in your house there's a pile of dog shit and you have to find it. That's what I'm getting when I sniff this. That just slight shit smell. And I know people are people probably love this beer, and that's great for you. That's great for you. I'm not dissing that. I'm just telling you what paradigms come to my mind when I sniff it. And I actually don't mind Lucky Lager itself. It just tastes like a corn chip. There's nothing wrong with it. But this just does not smell good. You're all, I'm also getting an alcohol astringency on the nose. I'm getting an alcohol burn on the nose. And basically, like almost like cheap wood grain alcohol. Like I'm drinking, I don't know, like uh, like uh, the Prince Igor. Okay, so dog shit and uh, cheap end alcohol. Let's try it. Cheers. Thanks, Jordan. It tastes like I'm drinking lake water. It just has this dirty, kind of fishy, minerally, almost septic-like taste to it. Uh, like, I'm drinking water from the Ottawa River. Kind of like, almost like sewage. Sewage water, that's what I'm drinking. I'm drinking sewage water. Very, 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 very diluted. But it's just, it's very minerally, it's very heavy water feeling. Um, <sighs> I'm trying to think of descriptors that won't get me trolled. But I'm going to get trolled anyway. So I might as well just go with it. I would rather drink an ice beer than this. An ice beer at least comes off as just a sugar fortified beer. This just seems dirty and not made properly. Uh, like they like they rushed through it. Like they uh, like it doesn't even come off with that corny taste. Really, it's not it's not a corn chip soaked in soda water. It's not high fructose corn syrup. Even I don't know what the hell this is made out of. High fructose corn syrup most likely is in it, but somehow I'm not getting that corn chip soaked in soda water taste. I will admit, for the people that are watching the video further in, that the more I drink it, the less offensive I find it, which usually happens on the third or fourth can, but with this, you know, with every sip, it's getting a little less offensive, my body isn't wanting to reject it quite so much, but is it something I really like? No. Um... It, it does, it kind of tastes like, uh, it just kind of tastes like, oh, what the hell's the word, contaminated, it kind of tastes like contaminated water, that's what, it, it, that's what it reminds me of, is like, contaminated, contaminated lake water, and I'm gonna go fucking shit out of the eye of a needle later tonight, like, that's the type of things this is reminding me of. But with each sip... It fades more from being offensive to just tasting like contaminated water. And we get to a point where we just have a beer. Not a very good beer, not a high-end beer, just a beer. Uh, if you just want to get drunk, this could work. But here in Ontario, there's a lot more choices that I think personally taste a lot better that I would go to before this. Uh, Red Cap, Red Baron... Uh, Keystone even, I'd rather drink a Keystone than this. Lucky Lager itself, uh, Wildcat, Brador, uh, Export when it's on sale, Old Vienna when it's on sale. Um, 
most of the PC brand beers. Uh, maybe Lakeport Red, Laker Red. Uh, like, there, there's just so many beers I would rather drink than this one that I, I, I don't even want to continue it, to be honest with you. Um, I'm probably going to take my one last sip on the at, at the final score. And if I chug it, I chug it. And if I don't, the rest is just going to get drain poured. And I don't like to drain pour beer, but I'm at the point where my liver deserves better than uh, stuff I don't enjoy. So out of 10 on this, one last sip to see. Yeah, 2.5 out of 10. I don't, I don't like this. I don't like it at all. Yeah, it at, on the first sip. After the smell in the first sip, it would have been a one. So it, it's gone up 1.5. Uh, if you love this beer, don't take it the wrong way that I'm saying I don't like it. I just don't like it. We don't all have to agree on what beers we like and don't like. We all have different paradigms in our mind that send us off onto different things. Paradigms help create what it tastes like and what it smells like to you, and what things your memory will be triggered with when you drink or eat a certain thing. So, it is what it is. I don't like it. You might like it. That's great. Uh, I'm not dissing budget beers. I'm saying that if I was to drink a budget beer, there's a lot of other choices I would choose before this one. So, 2.5 out of 10. Um, I don't want to. You know what? Whatever, bye.